Hello, Leander ISD. Wanted to take this opportunity as our students begin to plan for being back in person in our school district to give you a picture of what that's going to look like. We want to thank our board for the incredible work that they've done in approving the additional waiver with TEA for the four weeks. We now have the opportunity to bring our students back slowly and steadily. And our goal, of course, is to open and then stay open for as long as possible. With, of course, our number one priority being the safety of our staff and their families and the safety of our students and their families. We use these guiding principles. Ensure classroom and campus health and safety guidelines. Practice social distancing and student health and provide clear structures to support academic growth. So let's go now and have a look at how that's going to work. Starting September 8th, we envision the secondary school campus experience will look similar to this. Remember, changes to the bell schedule mean start and end times are different from last year. Middle schools will start at 8, 10 a.m. and end at 3, 25 in the afternoon. High schools will start at 8.40 in the morning and end at 4 p.m. Parents or guardians will self-screen students before they arrive and fill out the information through a Google form. My name is Terry Williams and I'm a bus driver and a trainer for the school district of Leander. This year is going to look a lot different uh, for all of our students and really for the bus drivers. First order business is uh, protecting our students, so it will be required that our students will have their face mask on and then when they enter the bus they'll be having a new seating arrangement. One child here, and we're gonna alternate rows all the way back where they're all at a safe distance. Once they are delivered to school, then we'll come back and we'll sanitize the entire area that our kids are seating in. Students and staff must bring in where the newest and most essential school supply, facial coverings. The district is providing masks to those who need them. Covering their mouth and nose, everyone on campus is required to wear a facial covering made of a material that can block droplets. All students and staff must maintain and model a social distance of six feet apart. Hand washing and use of sanitizer will take place frequently throughout the day. In common spaces, students will see social distancing markers, a one-way flow of traffic, limited restroom capacity, and no use of water fountains. Please bring your own water bottle. As you walk into the classroom, you can see that the, the desks are distanced as much as they possibly can be. Teachers expect students to sanitize their hands when they enter. All the desks will face the same direction. In the cafeteria, campuses will have their traditional grab-and-go lunches, eliminating the need for self-service. Students will wash and sanitize hands before entering the cafeteria and after meals. Tables will be spaced out as much as possible, and students will only occupy half of a table's capacity. During PE and athletics, indoors, students will maintain six feet of social distancing with masks. During outdoor exercise and physical activity, students may remove their masks. The use of shared equipment will be limited and cleaned after each group, and students will wash and sanitize hands before and after. Hello everybody, Ryan Johnstone, this is the Rouse Band Hall. We're gonna talk about some of the things that we're doing to prepare for our students and have a safe environment. As you might notice, there are some blue painter's tape here that we've protected with clear tape, uh, just so it doesn't get kicked up, and these are 10 foot social distancing marks so that the students are not that close to each other. Another thing that we did this year is we bought lots of door stops and we'll be using these in our facility, keeping all of our doors completely open. This will help with air circulation and also prevent our students from having to touch. If a student or teacher tests positive for COVID-19, any individual who came in close contact with that person for longer than 15 minutes must self-quarantine for 14 days. Campuses will notify parents and CDC cleaning protocols will kick in, which include sanitizing the area, surfaces, and equipment used by that person, increasing circulation around the classroom or office space, and vacuuming. Leander ISD will communicate information as well, reporting positive cases on our website and will continue to monitor the virus with public health departments. With regard to daily cleaning, LISD will provide soap, disinfectant, hand sanitizer, paper towels, and tissues. Employees are asked to disinfect their own personal workspace with district-provided materials throughout the day. School will dismiss students at staggered times and separated at exits to prevent crowding. We realize that preparing for in-person learning means more than just the physical experience. That's why we want to provide ways to help you mentally prepare. Create a family plan and routine for what mornings will look like. 
communicate with your child about how school will look and feel different, be a good listener. And don't be afraid to ask for help from a teacher or counselor. From September 8th until October 5th, we will phase in our students whose parents opted for in-person learning. Again, we want to thank the team that's put in so much time and effort into making sure that our environment is safe for your student. We also want to acknowledge that our teachers are really going out of their way to make sure that you have the opportunity for choice. So if you're ready to come back to in-person learning, we have a safe environment ready for you. But if you're not, then it's perfectly fine for you to keep your student 100% virtual for as long as you're comfortable. Thank you for trusting us with your most precious resource. We together can accomplish great things in hashtag OneLISD.